Hi people, welcome! Uh, this is episode 8 of my Minecraft Let's Play and you can see I found a cavern system. I've been going around placing some torches and in general trying to make use of this somehow. Since I am moving rather quickly I can get to most uh, spawning points before any monster can really spawn. I found a small mini dungeon of uh, from Tomcraft uh, somewhere around here, and this is <laughs> another access to this system. Hi, spawner. How are you? Uh, I've been looking and I think I will be making... Uh, what's the name? Uh, I will be making eventually some sort of uh, crucible that uh, burns enemies into... well, burns NPCs into beasts. It has the downside of uh, projecting lots of taint on the world, however. So I might uh, do that in in the nether. I hope I will find some enderman sooner, sooner or later that will be kind enough to give me an ender pearl because frankly I want some. Anyway, I'm going to keep uh, harvesting this mine as long as I can or I get a full inventory and I will be back upstairs when I will be having a lot of resources to process. Also, I intend to craft myself some of the new forestry uh, bags we can find in with, with the latest update, so I can increase the length of my travels a little more. I, th I am thinking also on expanding my industrial craft operations to get uh, a lab pack and yes I was looking for a recipe here but again they all require uh, well another pearl is required like it or not anyway I'll be back with you as soon as I have something better to report okay I suppose this is interesting enough I found another test in here I'm going to collect it the hard way, and since I'm going up because I already found it, uh, I'm going to get this other two. So, yeah, got my hands on some pretty nifty items, but I will be saving them for now, at least for a while, until I get uh, a full set of um, libraries to boost my well, research. I hope you all, by the way, watch already my video on, on research. And where was the spawner? So I can get back upstairs. And okay, you're running. Oh dear. And uh, what I told you there. Whoa, not going there, thank you. In fact, I'm going to close here too. Perfect. So that's the point. Uh, yes, automatic uh, research. I made a video I published uh, a few days ago. The video was mostly released just before I published episode. Uh, Episode one of uh, the list of this let's play. Whoa! See, that's why it's a bad idea. Anyway, as I told you, I will be going up and I'll try to set up something interesting. No, I can't yet. I don't have the resources, but I will be doing it uh, soon. Anyway, see you upstairs. Okay, I'm in the base, and since I am going to be spending a lot of time outside trying to come here, come back, come there, I'm wasting a lot of time traveling, 
I'm going to start a small uh, crystal farm. Crystal farms requires you to create uh, bees ores first, and uh, the crystals will form oh so slowly, so terribly slowly. You will believe uh, you're being cheated. And by the way, once I do this, there's no coming back. So let me place the crystals in here, 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 and here. You can see they are one crystal. I could break them and I would get a single crystal one. Maybe if I'm lucky I might get three. But, well, I wouldn't be counting on it. Anyway, let's see if we can... Oh, spiders. They're going to kill themselves. Hey! Got some... Some pumpkins. Great. Got to harvest them later. So let's see what creatures lurk around our base. Hey, an Enderman! No, there are two Endermans. And he got away. Or not. And the spiders are attacking, and the Endermen! Oh dear, an ender pearl! Great! Got my hands on an ender pearl! Yoohoo! Another spider is coming! The spider is dead! The enderman attacks! Teleports! Tries to attack again! It's a teleporting! Gang attacking! Fleeing! The enderman tries, but... It's... Ouch! We have been killed by an enderman! Well, we can wait for <laughs> a new day and then claim all our prizes. Oh dear, that was intense. Ah! And a skeleton! What is this? Impressive in whole... Oh! Okay. Strangely enough, the... <laughs> that skeleton is under the shadow. And that one too, of course. There's a small shadow under the house. Uh, the chainsaw was making sounds. It was on even after... I had dropped it. Maybe some sort of uh, book or working as intended. I don't know. Anyway, I better get inside before I manage to blow my house thanks to a wandering creeper. Considering how I am I faring right now, well, I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. And yeah, I should uh, <laughs> try and recharge the chainsaw and the backpack. In the meantime, I'm going to sort this th the, these things a little, but I now want to get my hands on some. Obsidian. Let me see, where do I am storage, uh, storing the obsidian? Oh, here it is. I only have one, but I'm going to abuse a little... Yeah, I'm going to abuse a little the transmutation table. I'm going to get uh, diamonds, some gold, and some iron. And let me see what can we get. First, I'm going to teach the Ender Pearl to the system, so I won't be messing things around. And then I'm going to get myself, well, a bunch of obsidian. And uh, some Ender Pearls too. Oh dear, two Ender Pearls equate to one gold ingot. And another thing I want to do, besides uh, rearranging this a little, oh yes, spider eyes. Mm -mm -mm. Diamonds. I want to craft some diamonds. I believe they require... yes. Okay, we got ourselves four diamonds in exchange for 16 gold ingots. A bargain, I'd say. Anyway, I'm going to craft first the portal gun 
which uh, if I remember the recipe it's yes for iron to obsidian diamonds the diamonds goes in there I, no it goes in there then the pearl goes oh they are here and there we go with the iron and of course we're lacking one more piece of iron yes portal gun perfect now the reason I don't feel so ashamed about uh, making this is because I am going to craft myself an, a portal spawner which is fairly expensive but exceedingly useful if coupled with some other stuff okay now I need diamonds perfect now I have a portal spawner which means it is time for us to start working with uh, wireless redstone we need to craft ourselves a wireless remote and a wireless receiver which means we need uh, one obsidian stick two obsidian sticks several under pearls redstone and the like so I'm going to gather the materials right now and I will be back with you as soon as I'm finished with that okay if I remember right first we're going to need two of these obsidian sticks if I remember right of course yes now for the reader pearl we're going to need two ender pearls in this case eight glowstone and eight uh, redstone so there we go there it is now the redstone perfect two of these fellas now two obsidian sticks get us this wireless transceiver now we are going to need uh, some where is it here we're going to need a button to craft ourselves and a transmitter a wireless tra remote that uh, won't be used ever we need to shift and right click to open it it will be open for the first time you do it, you use it like so and you can use it the way we used uh, the previous wireless redstone mod or we can hit advance and uh, use names i am going to go into that as soon as i make the receiver which requires of me to cook some smooth stone so I'm going to get this smooth stone and I'm going to place it into the oven so to speak this is uh, a red power item so you can't use chicken bones wireless redstone mod without uh, LRAM's red power and it's the stone wafer stone wafers are used to craft the logic gates and all things similar and essentially you can get uh, well two for each uh, smooth stone you cook okay so now we have the stone wafer the wireless receiver requires two stone wires stone wires are crafted like so but they are very simple <coughs> okay and now we require the dish the receive and another obsidian stick I forgot to craft but no biggie can be crafted quite uh, uh, quite quickly now the stone bowl requires three stones it's a simple recipe no doubt inspired by the wood bowl oops <laughs> that gives us a dish now we have the dish we place a stick on under it and by doing so we get our wireless receiver so in case you need to in case you want to know it there has been a change in the uh, no there this no longer goes in there there has been a change in how this mod works uh, well it's not the same mod uh, we knew of course so it's not uh, really surprising so what has been that change precisely well uh, the mod has changed uh, the mod that has changed sorry I completely wandered around 
is uh, this one. Let's see where can we place this teleporting device. Here could be a good place. Mm. I'm not sure. Let me think for a second. Okay, uh, as I was m rumbling around, there has been a change in Portal 2. Now, when we place a, postal a portal spawner, we need to decide if the portal will remain open or not when the redstone signal stop getting, stops getting there. It is a decision we made per individual portal. <coughs> so, for example, if I hit no, regardless hits orange every time redstone uh, power is applied to this uh, spawner it will remain open regardless on how much time uh, will it last we can't modify it but we can recover the portal spawner I hope yes we can uh, place it again and decide since uh, I can well let me select uh, since we can keep pressing the button without trouble there is no need for us to set up a complicated system or to let tell it not to work okay i don't want it uh, to be uh, looking down looking to a side so right now we have the wireless rest song here installed and we need to select uh, a frequency. Let's say frequency one. I call it. I will call it home, and we will set in the name. So now, as you can see here, this is set to frequency one. Now we shift, we kneel, as I like to say, and click, and we can, and we, and we see there is a frequency in here. We can check home frequency one perfect so when I hit the remote nothing happens because uh, the remote per se, uh, the receiver per se won't transmit any signal at all sorry for that at least not to the base but now see for as long as I press the button, we get uh, a portal. So I can go deep in underground, hit, and now I can't cross, but now I can. Perfect. So I will seal this, and there we go, our own portal spawner. Mm, it's a little forced to have it in there, but well, I can live with that. Oh, and we got some fragments of lost knowledge. I like it. <clears throat> so it's quite a plus to be able to leave the system working behind while you do other stuff, like here and 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 such. For example, let's take this glowstone and turn it into redstone. So the redstone will be upgraded to coal and to the next layer. And meanwhile, under here, we can see we already got one more crystal. Great! Of course, my primary objective here is to investigate the crystalline well. In case you need to know the crystalline well, I already tried to research it before. You need to place... Um, a, um, an energy crystal in in here. You need to research an energy crystal, a uh, beast crystal, and support it somehow, uh, theoretically, with libraries, which are quite good for that. Anyway, I should uh, recover my bat box. <clears throat> and while all these uh, materials keep get cooked. I can go down underground and keep uh, trying to get my hands on more stuff or I can of course craft myself another question to duplicate uh, the time <coughs> uh, the, 
well, to duplicate how much uh, investigations I get. Anyway, for now, I will be turning this off until I finish these matters. And I will be back with you as soon as I find something interesting. Okay, I said I was going to call on you and I had something really interesting going on, and I do. Let's grab ourselves, sorry for this, there seems to be some sort of small bug with uh, the system right now, at least regarding recipes when this golden thing is open. Do know why. And what I'm going to do is essentially get the old screwdriver of uh, Red Power, but it's now a sonic screwdriver. Like in Industrial Craft, instead of having only a normal version, we now have a superb one. And I don't really know how to charge it. Here maybe, I don't know. I don't have the slightest idea of what am I doing, oh dear. It doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Checking the wiki. Okay, the answer is so obvious, it really hurts. Let me see... Uh, no? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah! Of course, I was uh, going it completely wrong at, at this recipe. Okay... I need to get my, my hands on a charged battery to, cr to charge the sonic screwdriver and then I need to hold the battery. Uh, so I need to get in here, charge this battery which is a fairly quick process and now I need to let me place this in here hold the battery in the air you can see the charge is uh, replaced so let's keep this uh, charged battery inside and uh, in the meantime I was going to make something else yes I know what was I going to do Okay, I am going to um, get the alchemical, um, one alchemical chest, which requires of me some chests, uh, smooth stone, diamonds. I got diamonds. Uh, I need iron. I need the dust. And I need the smooth stone, which I should have in here. Okay. So, I am going to craft myself some more diamonds, since I don't use the ruby or sapphires for anything. ta -dang. Well, they at least serve a small purpose. I should be able to get myself yeah, a fair amount of, uh, of those. And I got myself some extra emeralds, which can be used right now. So let's do this. Oh, of course, I need to get myself a chest. Uh, you know, there is a slight problem with uh, with this, and uh, I mean, with making yourself your very own uh, teleporting system. And that problem, of course, is that. Uh, Okay, is that you are risking uh, to lose it if you fall inside uh, a chasm or something. Okay, I need wool, like this. I'm going to need more wool and coalescence dust in the top. And we get ourselves an alchemy back. So let's get some extra wool from, I don't know, copper? I have lots of copper. Let's see how much we get. Oh, far enough. And some extra stone. Okay, now I got myself two alchemy bags. 
which if you're familiar with my Let's Play series might uh, know I am going to leave one behind okay I'm going to leave one in here while I go traveling with the other oh well we have it a small bug I believe let's see uh, can I rotate this no Okay, let's go inside and check the um, wireless redstone system because right now I'm I'm not sure if I stumble upon a book or a problem. Ah, just a small book and then so it seems like we can recharge our sonic screwdriver with a talisman of repair. Quite funny, actually. So I will warn Laura, but I don't think it's a, a really critical issue, by the way. But oh well, it's funny to know. There we go. We can uh, recharge our <laughs> our rest power to two portable tools with uh, the help of equivalent exchange. Anyway, I'm going down to mine. I'll see you in a while. Okay, I refound my way to a tamed lava lake. You can see why I call it tame because you can't fall in the, in the lava. Yep. And uh, I am a fairly full amount of uh, resources on me right now. So I am going to get back into the base. For that I am going to use the portal gong and the remote. First I am going to place two portals here so you can see it's working and now I am going to call home. Ta-da! And yes, I moved some items inside my, my uh, alchemy bag. In case you need to know, by the way, alchemy bags are linked. So, if, for example, I lose mine, let's say it's there thrown, I can still access the contents thanks to this other one because they are both white. You can see there are several of them. One, two, uh, well, there are 15 or so. Ah, I was thinking, what's going on? This has run out of power. Definitely, I need to um, improve my power production. <coughs> but anyway, as I was telling you, this is essentially a safeguard against uh, dropping uh, all my goodies inside uh, a lava pit or, or something I can't go back to. So, worst case scenario, I would be losing uh, the alchemy bag, a chainsaw, the diamond drill, and the bat pack. Quite uh, traumatizing in itself, but not as grave as losing all that's inside the alchemy bag. And if I am quick enough, I can even throw in there at least the diamond drill. The chainsaw is not terribly expensive to craft, and the bat pack is also quite cheap. At least con uh, compared to the other stuff. Uh, let me see how... Oh! Run out of paper. Hmm. And got lost knowledge too. So... Ah, arcane focus and somic duplicator. Let me see, what are the arcane focus? Oh, something I won't be using. Uh, okay. Anyway, I need uh, some. I need to sort these things out. But I believe this is a good uh, wrapping up point. I know this, this episode has been specially shorter, so to speak. So to speak. But uh, I'm happy with the length. I want to keep it uh, short, so I don't need to break e episodes in two again. 
it's uh, no longer it's I believe it's rude or a little dressing something as it's not I mean a long episode in two short halves is still a long episode but uh, well it beats uh, making a long episode so this has been episode 8 I hope you liked it and stay tuned for episode 9 uh, have fun people